back to another episode of Video Game After Live. Otherwise yeah. known as Vigal. <laughs> <laughs> I was really Ky Kyler that reached that over to slap me. I was can't really see that connect in the well enough that he could pick it up on the mics. <laughs> Probably. Uh. Video Game Hour. Ah. Video Game no. After Live. Video Game yeah. After Live. I already said it. VGHL's podcast. <laughs> yes. So what, uh, this is a new episode of... This is the first episode of the semester. Fall, fall 26. Semester. Semester. Yes. Fall 2015, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That is that is how dates work. Good job, wow. Ryan. Good seasons. I'm learning. <laughs> All right. Who are we? What is life? Anyway, guys. So an endless series of disappointments. That, that, was, your that was a cue to introduce everybody. But yeah, yeah, that was good. <laughs> we totally ignored it. <laughs> yeah. That got dark. <laughs> Really fast. No, okay. you asked what life was. Yeah, I, I know. You. Okay, okay. okay. Well, Moving on. Yeah. Moving on. I will yeah. introduce myself. I'm Brian. I'm Lily. I'm James. I'm Kyler. So, guys. Uh, this is going to go well. Oh, yeah. This is amazing. <laughs> totally professional, y'all. Totally. We got this. We can pay for this, right? Yeah. If I'm you like do, Monopoly I'm robbing money. you later. <laughs> I can pay for other stuff, but. I'm robbing you later. Mm. That's rude. So, what have you guys been playing? We'll I'll let other people answer because I will not stop. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. You don't, you don't well, even answer that. Cut, cut it down to like 30 minutes this time. <laughs> we'll start off. We'll start uh, off. Yeah. First. Okay. I just started playing L.A. Noir, which I bought for like five bucks three years ago, I think, and finally took it off the shelf. And I really like it. Um, I feel like I've learned I'm terrible at reading people because I feel like I always get the questioning wrong. It's like, oh, you seem highly suspicious, and they're telling the truth. And every time they like, I'm like, oh, totally sincere, completely lying. They're the murderer. And to me, know. it always looks like they're lying in that game. They're always, like, kind of fishy. Yeah, like, c because of the capture system they use, it's very much like, oh. Uh, yeah, and they'll, like, glance around a lot. It's it's weird. I'm not keeping something hidden at all. I just can't make yeah. eye contact. Could be that they're nervous about being interrogated. That right. doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but it's, a, it's a little, it's a little yeah. I, know, I, I, I've, I've, I also I've feel like there's yeah. no continuity b between questions either. It's like you can't tell which way the conversation is going because one time you'll be, like, totally calm and Cole will be like, so what happened? And then the next question he's, like, yelling, like, I know you did it. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> yes, I didn't mean to be that. Yeah, <laughs> Choice to, uh, like choices for uh, for dialogue that uh, you have to run that has voice acting it happens yeah. in like Mass Effect stuff is where you'll you'll go oh yeah that's my choice and then they'll so say calm. something completely not what you I'm meant. I'm trying to be polite and Femme then it's like let's everything I want her to say. <laughs> Mass Effect it worked Femme, out well. Femme Jim has just, I've had Femme Jim say things that were not what I was intending I've been but they worked out okay. Accidentally bitchy yeah. yeah. For sure. Accidentally bit you. <laughs> <laughs> or when you were talking to the reporter on purpose. Right. Yes, absolutely. Still yeah. haven't punched that reporter, and I'm proud of that. Why are you proud of that? She's a jerk. I've also only played one game. I've also only played Mass Effect 1. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. So, You'll yeah, not quite the level of hype like you have she to punch her every game. She is worse in the second game. I, I've, I've heard. Yeah, the second game is bad. And I forgot how she showed. Oh, yeah, she tries to fight you in the third yeah, game. Yeah, dodges the punch in the yeah. third game. Yeah, and I'm like, no, Puts you're really not going to. You punch her again. You're not going to beat Shepard in a fist fight. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, good luck. Honey, no. <laughs> no? <laughs> not happening. So, how far are you in L.A. Noir? Not super. <coughs> wait, I can't tell how long the game is. I got through, like, the traffic desk and uh, the homicide desk, mm. and now I'm on vice desks. It's all drugs all the time. I think you got two more desks after. Oh, uh, so. cool. I think there's, I, there's either four or five desks. Yeah, I like it. There might be four desks and then a, a, a fifth thing. Uh, it's, yeah. been a, it's been a long time. Is it, like, a rung system, like, you're going higher and higher up the ladder, or do you get, like, demoted I, sometimes? I can't. Tell. It's, a, yeah. it's a wrong system. It's yeah, because okay. it's yeah. like I it's felt like murder. Yeah, I felt like murder was going to be the last thing, and I thought the whole game was going to be solving homicides. And it was like you're done now, like on to <laughs> drugs. <laughs> like okay, <laughs> just like your life. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not entirely sure. And this is set in one time. What time period? Uh, 40s LA, 1947 LA. Yeah. What mm. what drugs would you be? I like think um, it's opium. Opium. Okay. It's really? 40, isn't it 40s? Cool. Doesn't have the time Maybe it's regress. 40. It's it starts forty seven, but uh, I think that like it's fifty two by the end of it. Oh, interesting. Wherever I am, like it's forty seven. What's the beginning of it's like post World War Two? That's very yeah. important. What's the beginning of like the cocaine era? <laughs> like when does that start? The fun era. <laughs> <laughs> I know, like the eighties. When did the Miami beginning. start popping no, up? It's yeah. all like injections. And That's stuff. a very good documentary. Huh. I was, just, yeah, I was just thinking Scarface. It's like stolen from <laughs> right. the, like, army resources uh, or something. So there's like a big like mm -hmm. theft of opium and you're trying to like track where it's all coming from. Yeah. Sort of. It seems like the cops are in on it. So. Yeah. 
Do you know yeah. what I'm impressed the most about LA Noir? People follow traffic laws in that game. Like, I it do. drives me insane. I'm like, oh my god, I can't run through. And every everyone red is an light. acrobat because you can't run over anybody. It's yep. amazing. I'm like, wow. It's yeah, driving in that game is weird. It's like I try to follow the traffic laws because you get punished if you don't, but I inevitably like get annoyed and like, okay, let me just go around and immediately like slam into just something. Just let your They're partner. Like, Cole, stop. Just like, let your partner drive everywhere and go like. Yeah, seriously. Make some food. Although I'm okay at following. Okay, not gonna lie, I tried to play Grand Theft Auto following the traffic laws and it didn't all work out. You see, I do that in GTA Five. I was online. like, can it be done? <laughs> no, I try it so hard. It can, People shouldn't. fail missions because it's not fast enough. Yeah, I'm not gonna. So I'm just gonna try as much <laughs> as I But I first want. got it. I think it was hard. Like I only have GTA Five, and that was the first one I ever got. And I was like, I don't know if I can be this mean. Like, let me just like see. And I was like, okay, no. You're stealing tried, cars, you're shooting people. Tried that for about an hour to be like a responsible you citizen. Can, I was like, why am I playing this? I'm trying to be nice. Yeah, you terrible, can't terrible be nice things. and grab yeah. that photo. Doesn't Trevor like <laughs> smash a guy's face in or something? Trevor like? does a lot of things. Yeah, I, I, that's the one thing I've seen. I I just got GTA 5 today. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I have not played to the story or anything. Mm, it's so. not shiny or new, but yeah. it's, uh, it's still shiny. Oh, it's new. It's like newish. It's like not vintage. Okay, that's true. It's not shiny as in like off the store shiny it's like shiny as like polished, polished. by lots of different hands using it not video game related but very quickly has anyone ever seen the uh stat like there's the statues in random places where they have uh interesting places polished because of everyone touching them oh, oh like the yeah. shoe yeah. where's the shoe? Or yeah. like the, the like the meteorites people like feel it as uh, that, museums. but I'm thinking about the play, the random places where it's all the genitals are just polished. Oh my god! From everyone. <laughs> I've never seen them. a statue like that. Yep, I have. I have seen several. It's I've pretty funny. Like that. It's I, I, pretty I, I, funny. I see the feet. I don't see the genitals much. Yeah. <laughs> Does UT have like a statue rubbing tradition? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Nope. So I don't. There aren't a whole lot of naked statues at UT. No. Well, I was thinking about starting a spit on the Jefferson Davis statue. Right. Uh, but <laughs> it's going to be gone soon. Already it's, is. It's, it's already, right yeah, yeah, they took it's it out. Out. I mean, it's gone now. It's like it's been a week or two. Yeah, yeah. they took out Woodrow yeah. Wilson, too, I think. Yeah. Just for symmetry. <laughs> well, uh, I guess. I there guess. Was all, there were some complaints I about was, him, but... Yeah. I mean, it doesn't have much to do with Texas. Uh, I think they're, in, they're moving him anyway just because he, like, it's... Off kilter to have just like one statue. Yeah, on the side that's. Of the stairs. I, I think so they'd replace related. it. Oh, totally. <laughs> they, so yeah. let's talk I was, about civil rights. I was, now. About, <laughs> I was gonna go to civil war because oh, okay. I was gonna quickly ask: Has anyone other than me played the uh, History Channel Civil War video game? No. What? Oh. That that's a is, thing. History yes. Channel has a game. History Channel has several games. Civil War. I have this game. Not only do I have this game, I have perfected this game. I have oh, a it's thousand a game with a gamers. <laughs> it's an Xbox 360 game. I have a thousand out of a thousand gamer score, despite the fact that there are two broken achievements that are impossible to get 85 percent of the time. So, one of which involves stabbing people. It's great. It's such a bad game. So but let I me love get it. this straight. It's from the History Channel, and it's yes. actually about history. It's old. It's yeah, it's, it's, like it's, it's, no it's from like 2007. <laughs> so. Isn't that like a pop Are there star aliens? game though? I mean, probably. Probably. I feel like there is. I feel like yeah. there would. If there's a Kardashian game, I feel like there's definitely a Pawn Stars game. Mm. Well, don't hate on Kardashian game. I played <laughs> shit on that. No, I didn't. <laughs> our our professor brought that game up. Like, what? Like, and she was like, in our, uh, I think it was interactive media class, she was like getting into it. Like, and just like, Lady, no. no <laughs> I don't want to yeah, talk no. about it. If he's, <laughs> people, complain about, but people complain about Call of Duty, like World at War's veteran mode being just like bullshit because it just spawns grenades with you. No, no, no. This game is incredible bullshit because the somehow, despite the fact that you're fighting with Civil War weaponry on veteran, all of the enemy soldiers, you can play as the Confederacy or the Union, oh, cool. all of those soldiers you're fighting against become expert marksmen that can shoot through solid objects and you, there is no such thing with as cover. Guns. It's incredible. <laughs> There are some, there are some fun bad guns in that game. So just to be clear, this is still Kim Kardashian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Or Civil War. <laughs> Civil War. I said Civil War when that's I started talking. That's a beautiful talking. image. I'm just like no, picturing Caitlyn yes, Jenner and like Confederate regalia. You can, and it will be there. <laughs> and I'm comfortable comfortable in saying that because you have missed you missed the beginning of almost every <laughs> sentence I say. Okay. And I have been proven right. I think. Brian, Brian and I are time. on the same level, though. We didn't hear you say. He Civil also War. misses what I am and Kanye with muskets. I just muskets. love the idea of Kardashian. Like we knew what you were talking about. Like five seconds. In, but like it, it was still pretty funny. <laughs> I am the most inspirational musketeer. <laughs> Are we in France but, now? <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Uh, it's one of the Kanye oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? No one has seen the Kanye interview with Sway? No. no. Oh, yeah. it's beautiful. I try to avoid anything. I am the most influential I mean, artist of our generation. <laughs> I am I'm Shakespeare, up. Nike, Google. Oh my God. It's wonderful. <laughs> and didn't he announce he's going to run for president in 2020 as well? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was his like MTV huh. acceptance or something. There's also the VMAs. There's also yeah. a TED oh, yeah, Talks yeah. guy that's running for president. He says, like, once he like fixes one issue, he's just going to step down and his vice president's going to be president. He's also like, a Harvard what? professor trying to crowdfund his uh, campaign yeah, for that's, presidency. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, what's ah, his name? Lawrence that's Lessig. Lessig, yes. Okay. That's yeah. optimistic. He's an issue-based president. Again. I heard anything about that. This is the best video game I was going to say, like, <laughs> totally off-topic. Is there a game where you can playing? run for president? Uh, <laughs> a variety of things, but I've I, um, mostly been, like, stressing over schoolwork. But mm -hmm. uh, Psychonauts is probably, like, the most... Um, like notable game that I've been playing recently. Oh my like, God, like I've yes. been really enjoying. Yeah, yeah incredible. I love. Yeah, it's a great it. game. Mm -hmm. It just the level design is fun. Humor's fun. Just I, I really, really the characters like it. Are actually all lovable for once. Like <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> well, I don't know. Well, there, Meat circus. I mean, got, that guy. Hey, spoiler I alert. <laughs> I still like the character a lot though. I know about like lungfish or something. That's all I know about like the rest of the game story. The, so you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I know. Though. Yeah. I still love that character. Mm. But gameplay is mm. really good. And yeah. I like running around a brain on the title menu. I'll just spend a few minutes there. I think Psychonauts <laughs> was actually my first like Steam game. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Huh. Like, it, it wasn't, wasn't Portal, on sale. It wasn't TF2. It wasn't oh, on it was sale Portal. for a while for me. So yeah. like I, I got lots of stuff before I got Psychonauts. And it's been a, like, but I decided, OK, this game is good. I should definitely play it. <laughs> I've just been waiting for five years for one game to go on sale on Steam to buy it, and it's Star Wars Republic Commando. <laughs> oh. It never goes on sale. You could have gotten it. I think I had bundle. that and never played yeah, it. Yeah, I missed that Humble Bundle, and it was, uh, I think that one you had to redeem, it wasn't through Steam, was it? You could redeem it on Steam. Okay. Yeah. I missed it. The Humble Bundle I missed. Most Humble Bundle games can be redeemed on Steam. Yeah. Most, but there's occasionally ones that can't. Like, the current yeah. Humble Bundle is a Tom Clancy bundle, yeah, but you so can only redeem it on Uplay. Yeah. Oh. That so, that was terrible. And I think Towerfall was also, like, not Though, a or something. When I was looking at, yeah. when I was looking at that uh, Humble Bundle, I went to the Humble store, and I got uh, Thief 2, The Metal Age, and, uh, a, and a DRM-free copy of Beyond Good and Evil for, like, $3. Nice. For, for both of those. There was a big Star Wars a bundle game. a while back, wasn't there? There are yeah. 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 These yeah. two is among the okay, best. Was, These two yeah. is a fantastic game. Yeah. <laughs> I think it had both battle fronts, and I was pretty tempted. And I was like, I don't think I'm actually going to play them. See, that's my yeah. biggest issue with these things. Yeah. Like, oh my god, I love this game. But I'm like, am I going to play this, though? It's more like nostalgia. Like, I want to buy it. this game because I used to I'm have just, it. If I in anticipation of, like, getting a computer. That's pretty much what I do as well. Okay. Yeah. And, like, if it's cheap enough, I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'm going to I'm gonna get it. Yeah. No restraints. You see if how it's less I than five bucks, I have no. Buying a game, it's yeah. how many meals can I buy with this game? So yeah, like I'm sort of for whatever reason I don't like spending money online. It's if it's virtual, I'm like no, three dollars is too much. Like I don't buy things on iTunes, and I don't know why. In real life, I'm like fine, three dollars is not a, yeah. For whatever reason, if I can't like hold it in my hands, I'm like I don't know if I want to. Even for if that. I have to pay for like by swiping a credit card, I still get like uh, anxious about it. It's if yeah. I if I'm typing it in, it's. Fine, I guess. I don't hmm. know. Yeah, I, I, I don't get really things. anxious about online money spending for some reason. I don't either. I feel like, like if I can't when I'm see buying it. it in real life with a card, I get really like, mm, do I really want to swipe this? Yeah. What was that? Oh, that was nice. Yeah, strange noise coming from the door. Scary. There, there's yeah. some people just working we on might die. the studio it's fine. here, so we, we, been playing, we right? might have some interruptions. Me, I've been playing. Um, I've been playing until dawn. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you're actually nice. playing it. Yeah, I've been playing it. It's the PS4 horror game where it's like a B scary movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. That yeah, it has really some better cool. effects than a B movie. Than oh, a B yeah. Scary yeah. Movie. yeah. <laughs> and uh, we've been watching a Let's Play of that. It looks yeah. really cool. Is it only PS4? Yeah. It's only oh, PS4. okay. I didn't PS4 realize that. Cool. But recently, I fucked up really badly. Oh, yeah. And got one of my favorite characters killed. <gasps> And I, I haven't gone back since because I'm just oh, you're too traumatized. I feel so bad. I'm like, I like this character so much. Uh, I already know it's not can, like can one I ask, person. It can't does be. it involve hooks? No. That's okay. the one he's seen. Okay. Then uh, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I felt really bad. So I, like, I'm really tempted just like do another. And just go back. Yeah. Mm. Okay, we can do fix it. But we want to do a let's play. But if we want, we think we do a let's play. Name. Oh, so you could start before and fix it. I just want to know who. Yeah, me too. <laughs> 
Wait, if you, yeah, I, I was trying to avoid it because I'm for, typing it on the phone, passing it around it. the table. Well, I, I am gonna play it at some point, but like you, uh, I don't have a care? PS4. I really care? like who if he says who he says who he well, lost. Well, well, he can do it. The, th the thing about this, okay. the thing you about can lose every character, yeah. so yeah. it's not like it's a spoiler that someone dies. Yeah, just as long as you don't say the context, it's fine. It's just like. There, yeah, any character of, can die in that. And there are a couple, most characters have multiple ways they can die. Okay. Yeah. I think really there's only cool. one character that there's only one way they can die. I lost, okay, so I'll just say that. I lost Josh and Ashley, and I feel really bad. I don't really care for Josh, but I really liked Ashley's character, because mm -hmm. I know she has a crush on Chris, and Chris has a crush on her, so I really wanted to. So you've ruined the romance. Yeah, I really so wanted they can't to, be together now. I really wanted to hook up, so I'm just like. I don't know how you did that. <laughs> I do. Oh, okay. And, uh, so, play the game. Trust me. Play the game. <laughs> so like, I, I don't know. I felt I felt really bad. So I'm just like, I lost two of my characters. I really like. Yeah, it's like I was trying I to be a good caretaker and failed. It's another sequence for another one for the other one. Okay. So, fair enough. Hmm. Yeah. I guess I'm the dark or something. No, no, I. No, he. Uh, I I I know it's not like. Yeah. There's the the <laughs> first, the sequence. The, I, the sequence dancing around. Is the sequence where you lost Josh. The thing, it's the other thing. Like, you know, you lost both of them, uh, and then just saying it's two separate things. No, I yeah, I know it's two separate things. Whatever. It's just the 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 second one. I'm like, hmm. that, what chapter are you on? Do you know? So like I six. It was four, I think. Like it's just, huh. I just finished four. Like they just got some cycle came wait, in. Wait, wait, wait. Like, oh. So I'm like, so oh, keep playing. There was yeah. a keep guy playing. wearing a mask. Like, yeah. Like a yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah. Keep you're playing. You're misreading some things. Keep playing. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, so. Like, like, I think Chris just got assaulted, I think. So like, I'm missing some characters as well. So like, mm. it's really weird. But I think, yeah. So I think the guy who like, who like killed um, Beth and Hannah, the, who like tormented them, yeah. is like back. Uh. Uh. So like, t tormented the kids at the cabin. We really need to play this I game. I need to walk away because I know all these yeah. answers. <laughs> we really need to play oh, this game. thing explaining everything. Yeah. yeah. I, don't know, I don't know anything about game. I didn't look up anything yet either. So I'm very in the dark about this game. So just I just was wondering how this game was designed. So I kind of went a little crazy on the wiki. Uh, so I know a lot know. of Yeah, I know a Ruining lot of people. Ruining it for yourself. I, I don't know the how like you get to certain points and when, but I know like certain set pieces. Yeah. OK. Yeah. yeah. Keep a going. A lot of people keep on, a lot of people like almost spoiled the game for me, but I'm like, no, 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 no. Don't talk about it. it. Yeah. Shut it down. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm you. really enjoying this game. Like it's been a long time since I enjoyed like a story heavy game. Yeah. So. It is definitely story heavy. So. It, mm -hmm. it is like uh, Telltale with way better graphics. Huh. It's quick time events, the game. Yeah. <laughs> I really, I mean, it really is. So yeah. there's like nothing you actually, if I'm gonna like maybe some walking. It's, I hate quick time events, but I'm okay with this. It's so yeah. good that it doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's the one, it's the entire thing is like quick time events and story. So it's like. It makes you anxious it though. It definitely makes it you works. anxious. Okay, nice. yeah. I don't know, it feels. It's like a visual it's, novel. Yeah, it's a visual novel more than like just a regular game yeah. to me. It's, I like that though. I'm That's fine interactive. Yeah. That's I'm fun. Fine with that. yeah. I mean, there's something. There are very few things I hate more than games where it's just randomly you have quick time events in like a action game. It's just terrible. Yeah. So. The one thing I hate about this game though is the teeth. The teeth do look. The awful. mouth. The teeth? Like, it's just so weird. They like. They have glisten the, is yeah, like it, weird. It's just oh, like, it's like the wrong everyone shine. has. There's there are two things that facial anime that facial animators like get just right into the wrong area. The like, eyes it's teeth and, and the eyes. teeth, yeah. Like, I think the eyes are perfect, honestly. Like, I, like, they oh. very, I like how they twitch. There's a the little characters. bit of, there's huh. a, it's, it's, I, it, it's some a of the decisions with lighting are nice with the eyes, because when, they're, they're, when the eyes are in light, they glisten a little too much. Mm -hmm. um, but there's like barely any light in that game. So. There's very little light. <laughs> it usually but works, like, but the teeth still glisten. There's just like the guy, teeth right? have yeah. a weird. Uh, it's not even glisten, but they have a sheen. Yeah. yeah so. So it's, it's like it's someone like put on Martin, like that clear Invisalign stuff uh, on their teeth or whatever. Like yeah, that's hate, kind of. The main point good. I hate the most is like oh, yeah. this psychiatrist like talks to you. He sucks. I don't like him at all. Like, he's <laughs> he's like, such a nihilist. Is this like after the fact or what is this? So like between every single episode. No. Oh, like okay, a, so you're like the survivor of this game. Yeah, like, and then who you are, but like you're talking to psychiatrists. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Like, okay. I don't know who you are. You have black gloves. I, I can't tell been, whose hands you are. What if everyone well, dies at the end? two conversations here. Yeah. And then know. there's no, because can't everyone die in the game? Yes, but one, but so who's talking to the psychiatrist? See, that's what that's I'm uh, that's, that's the twist. Spoilery. Well, well, yeah, it's kind of spoilery. I well, the word I wasn't objecting to the word twist. I was objecting to the word the, but 
Oh. <laughs> that's that, that's one of many. It's a thing. It's supposed yeah. to be one of the main characters, I figured, I think. Because like he's asking questions like, who do you like the most? Who do you hate the most? How do you feel about this? Just, oh. just we're not going to say anything. Keep going. This, the, I actually think that the psychiatrist stuff in the game is some of the most interesting stuff. Because it just gets... Huh. I, I just don't like the way they animate him. Yeah, I hate the psychiatrist animation. Like, he's, like, yeah. talking to me and, like... His voice is fine. Uh, all I'm doing is, like, all I'm doing he, is just looking at your mouth, dude, like... <laughs> <laughs> and your creepy teeth. I, I have a theory about the weird way they animated him, but I can't say it without spoiling Oh, without things. giving away We're his not, role, yeah. There's, Go into who he who voices him. Uh, it's the guy who voices and is the motion capture and faces model is Peter Stormare. Uh, he played one of the nihilists in Big Lebowski. Hmm. Uh, and a bunch of these shows, the character actor you've seen, you've, you've, I guarantee you've seen him in something. Uh, but he looks really familiar. Yeah, huh. he's one of those actors like I know him, but I have no idea who this is. It's actually really cool if you go look at the behind the scenes of Until Dawn and find out a lot of the main characters are actually look just like they look just like the voice actors. That, well, that's yeah. they did a lo that's they did a lot of the facial capture off of them and uh, that, yeah. I feel like Hayden Panettiere looks a little different, though. Oh, she's in the game? Yeah, she is one of the characters, yeah. Huh. She's like, nah, I'm not going to say like what kind of archetype she is, but it's pretty obvious, I guess. Like, once you, play the, once the you play the game, it's like, okay. <laughs> like, we're playing Cabin in the Woods here, and she's this person. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's amazing. Like, one of my favorite movies was Cabin in the Woods, and like getting to play this game, it's been like... It's very a, like that. Yeah, I love it. It's a good I, movie. It honestly, I think, gets like kind of ascends from like a lot of horror movie tropes when, once you like get into the game. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I, I'm excited. I heard it gets like very intense. So mm -hmm. I'm like, yep. mm -hmm. and, I'm yep. and I'm already at like a pretty intense moment, I feel like, so. You know those like. You aren't, you aren't anywhere near close and yeah. you are are also not close to well, when it gets to the real crazy. You moment. know like the motion controls? Yeah. Those happen a lot more later on in the game. I, Be prepared to not twitch yeah, at I've all. Or put it on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Either way. Yeah, I if you wanted to be a cheating little bitch, <laughs> you put it on the table. <laughs> I should probably explain that. Do you know anything about the motion controls in the game? Mm -mm. See, it's really cool. For like, example, when your character is like, interacting with objects, say he picks up like an item, right? You can yeah. like, move the controller and it'll move his hand. So you can, like, oh, look okay. Around. Totally like, optional if so you don't want to be I, part of that. But, you, don't but you, can move. you can move the controller. It's like L.A. Noir, but less also, awkward. And there's also segments where it's you, if your character's like hiding and needs to stay perfectly still, you have you to keep the controller You have to stay still. still. Oh. And it's yeah. like on the PS4, there's the blue section at the top of the controller and you have to like keep that, st uh, that still. And there's like so a- So put it on the table. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> but I heard don't do that because there are moments where it's like stand still. Oh, and then, then you, you have go. to move. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, you gotta get out of yeah. like, uh, okay. I would have a hard you, time. Talking about the animation game though actually makes me want to jump back to LA Noir. Has anyone seen the the animation blooper reel for LA Noir? Yes. That yeah. is that is wonderful. There's something so weird but funny so about wonderful it. Wonderful when the characters just freak out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, with the motion capture, it's yeah, just weird to watch. I, I love up. animation bloopers. Like one of the, uh, there was a scene that I was helping out with at uh, RT, and someone's hair just gained sentience <laughs> for a scene. It was great. <laughs> Things like that. Uh, yeah, that was my game I've been playing. So what have you been playing, Crowder? I have been playing Metal Gear Solid Five. Yeah, oh, what boy. a shocker. Oh my god, I love this game <laughs> so much. I'm still just, so confused by everything in that game. I have so I have explained the, the whole cute. plot to two people and <laughs> I don't think they ever want to talk to me again. <laughs> well, I tried to read. Somebody had a timeline of like all of the Metal Gear games, and was I read long? the whole thing. Was it less or more than twenty five pages? <laughs> it was really. It seemed endless. I'm not sure because how long it, it actually was. If it is not longer than twenty five pages, it then will it not make sense. Is missing some things. I definitely came out of it equally or more confused than I was going in. Yeah. I hate, uh, I'll say it again, I do not like the Metal Gear Solid series anymore. I played all of them. Okay, okay. <laughs> Things are about to get wow. real here. <laughs> Kyle just picked up a chair. Yeah. And yep. got tangled with his cord. Violence is about to happen. <laughs> Sorry, Brian, you were saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it again. I'm, I played, okay, I was a huge fan mm -hmm. of MGS 1, 2, to and 3, right? But then I bought four, and I played four, and that just burnt me completely on, G on MGS. Huh. Five is really good. Though. See, it looked good during the Let's Play, and I was like, watching it, but like, I don't know, just... I know nothing about the Metal Gear Solid series, and I was, I was enjoying myself on Could that. Could you follow it without... Yeah, kinda? sort of. I mean, I don't know why there was sort a flaming of. whale, but... <laughs> yeah, to be fair, 
Neither do I. <laughs> I've come up with that's, that's any of these where games? It's that, that's something that's kind of explained in game as part of that story. Yeah. It's a story, so there's going to be things yeah. that they show you that you can't explain until they like, they come up with it later. But when but, you see it, you're just like, Why am, I, am I missing something here? <laughs> but it looks awesome. <laughs> a whale just comes up and swallows a helicopter. <laughs> that was in the trailer. It was this giant flaming like. Why? Whale. And it's on fire. It's, it's it made, of, made fire. of fire. It's a fire whale. <laughs> yes. It is. It is a creation of the man on fire. How and then you think there's a phoenix in the on? sky, but it's actually a flying it's a unicorn. Whale. <laughs> what? Okay, so the they're man on fire riding a flaming unicorn. Yep. Yep. <laughs> We're still talking about MGS, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think there's any, I don't think I will ever Come be on. able to understand these games. It's like the more I learn, the weirder it gets. But, oh, but, yeah. but it, you don't see them that long, so it's just like, okay, this will probably come up later, but right now, this is just weird. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> so yeah, I've, I've run into one of the guys from oh, that uh, two more times thus far, and I think I'm, he's a character, there's a character in that sequence that like, you can probably figure out who he is if you've played other games, but they don't explicitly say it. There's a couple characters like that in the game. Gotcha. Um, <clears throat> um, it's, but it's fun. In, it's just fun. Like, I don't hmm. even... I think it'd be fun to any people who don't know the story. It's um, Three, I think, is the best game to play without knowing any of the story because it's yeah. the earliest game in the timeline. Uh, so that this one is, like, the third game in that sequence. It's... Uh, okay. It's three Peace Walker. This I bundled Peace, this with Grand Peace Walker Heroes. was the PSP game. Peace Walker was PSP, game, but it's in a bunch of bundles for console. It was in the HD bundle for PS3 and uh, Xbox 360, and it's in the Legacy bundle for PS3. Uh, so yeah, but I'm just saying, like after playing four, though, I just got so burnt on it. I, just, yeah. I couldn't look back at another. Did you even game. get to the one hour seven minute cutscene? No, I beat four. Oh, okay. <laughs> the final cutscene. One hundred percent. I even beat it without killing a single person. So I got wow. all like, the stuff. But I don't know. That was then just you're the done. You're Never like, okay. again. Yeah, like I'm just done. Like I played Pete's Walker. I've done it. I can understand that. And I mm -hmm. just want that like I I because back then I considered myself a huge MGS fan because MGS one was my first PlayStation one game. Ah. So I loved it. And then just but after four I was just like, I'm gonna consider this the last game of MGS ever. MGS is now dead to me. And I've just been living like that forever. I, I just don't get it. Like, I don't... I, I can get MGS 4 burning out people who hadn't played the previous games, but it does, like, just it's not computing to me that, like, if you play the other games and that burns you out. It was it's just too much. Like, honestly, the cutscenes were too long. The game was really long. Like, I don't know. Nine, just Nine hours of cutscenes, whatever. <laughs> no. It's insane. I have watched all those cutscenes just on a loop once. Just because... Fun. <laughs> I have a lot of papers to write. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> That's the best way to write papers while watching. Yeah, videos. watch something else. <laughs> I, I can't. I, honest to God, cannot work any other way anymore. I have to have something on in the background. But if there is something that would make me want to play MGS Five. It's the freaking dog. Oh my D -dog. god. That dog is really cute. That dog, D dog is adorable. Can I just have like a dog simulator of that game? Just ignore the rest of the plot things that are confusing and just have the dog. Stealth dog can't Stealth dog. die. Stealth Backflip dog can't dog. die. Backflips, kills people, saves the world. It's like a cool Best dog. dog in the world. Yeah. yeah. Also, rocket like, arm, just for <laughs> things in the game that are amazing. The dog. Oh, I thought even the dog had a rocket yeah. arm. No. I was like, that is patch, confusing. Cool. What, I, what if he gets my, everything Snake gets? Fair, so he gets a little rocket. I have, <laughs> not, I have not unlocked all of the. Uh, I have not unlocked all of the battle equipment for the dog yet, so I'm still working through that. But he's getting a rocket Maybe he has a rocket tail. To be f the sad thing, though, is in that case, you'd have to lose a damn paw, you horrible, horrible bastard. He can, he can, he can have, like, an extraneous paw. <laughs> he has, like, a fifth, <laughs> fifth arm it just, just sticks arm out. His yeah. torso. <laughs> it's an attachment, just shaped like an arm. So maybe a rocket tail. Rocket as, tail, as that'd Brian be cool. Said. But then that guy loses tail. Dogs lose their tails, they get to step yeah, on sometimes. Gets, yeah. It's still horrible, but it's yeah, like that's <laughs> still really unfortunate. I don't know why people do that. It's like, let's take my adorable puppy and cut off its tail. But it's better than cutting off. My its mom leg. wanted to cut my dog's tail like, off. Like, I don't get it. It doesn't really make the dog cuter. It just has less of a tail now. I don't. I, think, I don't get yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think the reason they do it with a lot of dogs is that, like the tail gets so long that it like un it unbalances them ah. and they like whip it around and like just break everything. <laughs> Like my dog, like has like a really really whippy tail. We we haven't cut it because we're not <laughs> monsters, but like, it's still like when he's walking around the house, like he'll just like knock over things. <laughs> you just like just go outside, Oreo, please. <laughs>
So in Metal Gear, the uh, the, <laughs> people ro the like ma the big robot in the game, we there are in your game, has a railgun penis. That's what? a thing. It's like a bipedal. It's a bipedal or sort a of humanoid robot, and it's got a railgun right between its legs. You know what? Don't ask me why. That one I'm I can't explain. I'm not surprised. Explain. I'm not either. It's kind of less weird this is than like the flaming whale. <laughs> this is uh, this is. Oh yeah, this, this, what this is actually before what? that. <laughs> this is um, eighty three, eighty four. Okay, I don't get it. How come they have rocket fists and we still don't? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tow. It's a tow missile. They had those then. A tow missile arm thing? Arm, no, but tow missiles, yes. <laughs> You know, when I hear that, I think like a missile on your foot. Yeah, I'll but think, yeah. I know it's not. T O W. Yeah. Oh, mm. I was thinking toe. I was like, pew! Oh, rocket toe. toe. I feel like that would be very effective. <laughs> would anyone hear <laughs> like a lesson in what a toe legs. missile is? I would like to know what a toe missile a is. A toe missile. I looked it up, but I don't know. So, you know, like the like cruise missile, all that kind of stuff uh, they have nowadays where you just like fire and it's laser guided? So back in the day, before they had laser-guided systems, what they had was tow missiles, which you fired, and it had a really thin like r wire going out of the missile back to the like person who fired it, and you'd control it with a remote control and guide it to its target. Weird. Mm. Must have had a very, very limited effective range then. It had a very, very, very long string, and I, I mean, very obscenely. Long, like... These were like these were like missiles fired from ships. These were these you did carry them with you. They were infantry sure. weapons. Yeah. And by very long, I mean it was like a few miles, quarter of a mile of uh, cable. Quarter of a mile of cable. How does Snake pick out all of his arm? <laughs> it's Magic. not a quarter of a mile of cable in his arm. But I don't know. I don't even know if it's tow missile. I haven't gotten that, that yet. <laughs> it just you get a That's mile out and it just like this stops oh, flying oops, forward. She ran out of and he starts yeah. swinging it. Swing it around. I'm not gonna lie. I was just thinking it's like. When Snake shoots it back, like when he puts it, and then like re recalls it to get it back to him, like the string gets all tangled up and whatnot. The, the friction then would you set him on fire. fire. <laughs> <laughs> he could join the whale and the unicorn then. Yeah. <laughs> Other thing is, did you notice the horns on that guy were made of bullets? Yeah. <laughs> all of his like demon features are literally made of bullets embedded in his body. Yeah, but doesn't he like shoot out the bullets though? He shoots out other bullets. Yeah. He, he likes those. They they look make him look cool. Yeah, <laughs> he keeps them there. I mean, it's a trend, right? <laughs> a trend among fire people. Yeah. <laughs> if I was on Keep fire. Keep bullets in your skull. Hey, random magic people is not an unheard of thing in Metal Gear. Colonel Volgan and three had electric powers for no adequate reason. <laughs> they explain it. They do, but. <laughs> but did it really explain anything? Probably not. It's pseudoscience, phlebotinum stuff. And, you know, the greatest video game boss in history. I see you've been playing Legend of Zelda. <laughs> 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 wonderful. That boss fight is wonderful. It really is. Yes, it is, Brian. I, I'm just thinking back Brian's to just a bad like metal time where, to me. Was, where I was playing the first game. You know how you had to look back on the cover of the game and then get a codec? Yep. And you had to, like, call a colonel for like another hint to continue on the game. Yeah, you had to like oh. yep. the back of your- Kojima the, loves hiding things in the physical so never delivery throw of, away the box. of the game. Yeah. Here's the thing, I bought it from like- A second hand. I oh. bought it from like a half like Blockbuster or something because you could rent the game and you could buy it afterwards. Yeah. So I and did so that. But I didn't have the freaking box. So yeah. I was basically stuck for like ever until my friend told me like, yeah, I just gotta look at the back of your like box. I'm like, I don't have the box. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's oh why my. he, it's why like in, he will, he will hide things like that. Like in PT, he hit one of the uh, photo pieces you have to collect is hidden in the menus for the game. Yeah, you gotta like wow. bring it's hidden in the brightness Very settings. Uh, yeah, he loves doing things like that. Uh, but just Psychomatis is such a good boss. That, that that is the thing that Metal Gear does better than anyone. It's boss fights. Like there's the big one I've got that I've gotten to at least in uh, MGS5 is the one with Quiet, which most people got into because it's pretty early. And it's it's a hell of a lot of fun. It's uh, you're riding through some ruins, and all of a sudden you start getting shot by a sniper. And the, something I like about Kojima games is that he's not the kind of guy who will tell you how to do things. You you just get dropped in a situation, and you have to figure out how to do it. And there's almost always like 14 ways. And I like that. I've always liked that. It's the thing he gives you a ton of options in like at least in my experience playing Metal Gear Solid Five. He plays he gives you like a million things, like a million ways to do something. I only use like one or two in any given situation. I I, like. I use a lot depending on different situations. Like, there's a lot of ones, and they you can use them pretty much anywhere. Like you can 
Like, I, I remember I was telling you, all, you can be quiet by dropping supply drops on her head if you time them right. It's uh, like, there are a million ways to, like, distract people down the line. Yeah. Why do you need anything besides just throwing the clip? <laughs> I hate throwing I never use the clip. I always use other things. Like, okay. I always use either the lure with the hand or the, car or, uh, the directions of the cardboard box at this point. I guess hmm. even if they have, you know, even if it's each person only uses one or two options, the fact that there still are all of that options mm -hmm. makes yeah. it, you know, anyone can play whichever way they want. It's yeah. nice. Yeah, that's great. Uh, oh. If anyone wants to change the subject, they yeah, can, because I can keep talking about this game. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that wasn't an hour this time. <laughs> I'm surprised. Progress. <laughs> but, stick, but sticking with the MGS team, though, have you guys all seen the Ocelot model swaps? Yes. No, I just just it. It's so beautiful. For the mod, for the PC, uh, for the PC version of MGS5, you can swap any model with Ocelot. <laughs> to, make really, Ocelot yeah. to make some really, to make some really awkward scenes. I and highly it's recommend any model, like yeah, Quiet or D Dog or. Uh, I got my favorite you, one. Have, is, is there anything that's been done with D Horse? Oh man, I don't know. I don't know. That would be very odd. <laughs> so. You, I think James is looking it. it up now. Yeah. This is very strange. I don't even get it, <laughs> but it's funny. There's like a really awkward shower like, scene. I don't know what it's supposed yeah. to be, now. but... Like, yeah. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> is that just in the settings or some... That's a mod. It's a mod. It's a mod. It's a mod. <laughs> okay. It's, I want to know who came up with that great. that fast. Like, I know what we need to add to this game. Like... <laughs> What can we do? This is what needs to happen. Crazier than Kojima already did. <laughs> I don't know. My favorite thing to do is just watching Ocelot <laughs> being replaced by the dog, or Ocelot <laughs> replacing the dog. The <laughs> Every <laughs> single interaction scene is so freaking funny. It was like I'm not thinking of a lot of funny Ocel uh, revolver Ocelot moments that'd be even better with just a dog. <laughs> so, uh, like the entirety the of MGS4 mod. would be something very different. <laughs> you replace Pro liquid Ocelot. With that. Like replacing the model that way. Like how do you put a how do you even put a dog in a person's a person in a dog body? It doesn't I mean, exactly work. That's like part of the comedy. Shuffling of it. Okay. 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 I mean, okay. haven't you seen? Uh, I haven't seen any video of this. I've only seen like because you know I don't want to be rude. Right. <laughs> when uh, when Brawl came out, right? People started making mods for Brawl. Yeah. <laughs> we replaced Ganondorf's model with Pikachu. <laughs> so it was this really buff ass Pikachu. <laughs> They're the weirdest things ever. Have you never seen that? I'm going to I've never heard of this. this. Smash Bros. Please bring Snake back to Smash Bros. Yeah. I, you voted for that already, right? I voted for that like 17 times ah. on different computers. <laughs> I went around campus. I just used different computers. <laughs> oh, my God. I voted for Shovel Knight. <laughs> they, they're, they're putting an amiibo out for him. So. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. That was announced uh, like, two days ago? It could be yeah, two? coming out with the uh, coming out around the same time as Plague Knight. Yeah. As Plague, the Plague of Shadows. Yeah. I'm I'm excited. I love that game so much. Get to throw bombs now instead of using a shovel. Yeah. It's an upgrade. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the, the shovel is wonderful, but <laughs> I, I'm fine playing as Plague Knight too. Yeah, the trailer looks cool for that. Mhm. Mm I haven't really looked at anything about Plague Knight or the DLCs, so I'm still kind of. In the oh, dark. gotcha. Like it might have to win you over before you. Have you played Shovel Knight? I love Shovel Knight. I oh, love okay. that game. So okay, much. okay. Because I love Mega Man, and that reminds me of Mega Man a lot. Yeah. So. But no, I haven't seen any of the DLCs or whatnot. Is it on the Wii U now, or like? It's on the Wii U. I think it's also okay. it's on Wii U, 3DS, PC. Because I haven't for the PS4. PC. Might be on yeah, PS4. Yeah, I feel like I it's coming out for a lot of things. Like, I don't know right about Xbox. Now. It's on Xbox One. It is. Okay. PS4 had the uh, the special unlockable of God God of War, That's and Xbox right. One had Battletoads. That's right. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I forgot those were released. I don't know if it's out for 3DS yet, though. I think I saw it on Amazon for pre-order. Dude, it was on. That might have been a while ago. I yeah. Buy that. Yeah, I'd like okay. to get it on 3DS. It's, it's really good on the 3DS. Like it doesn't One of feel these days, I will just get a 3DS. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I haven't bought a handheld gaming system since the original DS. Buy one. And I still have. I actually, I still use my Game Boy SP more than I do that. Oh, funny. I didn't even buy the DS. I, I had like. Yeah, I had a Game Boy Advance, and then I got my 3DS last year. <laughs> <laughs> I, I lost my SP, so like I, I just uh, had to use the Game Boy Advance with like the little the light on top. Thing. Hey Brian, <laughs> yeah. what happened to your I, SP? My grandma took it from me and yeah, my grandpa. Like at the same time, they just well, like both grabbed it. Joint. <laughs> well, I mean, my grandparents, I guess. <laughs> They're still playing Pokemon on it now. <laughs> stole my SP. Sad. My grandparents are very uh, old-fashioned, I guess. 
Okay. Or they just wanted it for themselves. Sorry, sorry. My grandfather's a monk, okay? Oh, yeah, okay. He's a Buddhist monk. Uh huh. So they live in a temple. So when I go visit them, I go to the temple. And my uncle, and when we go visit Korea, it's usually during summer, so it was my birthday. So my uncle bought me a, a Game Boy SP, red color, my favorite fucking color. <laughs> and as soon as I got the thing, I was Communist. so happy, right? Like, I really was like, yay, SP, I want to go play this after dinner. My grandfather, my grandfather was like, saw it, and he like, took it away from me. And I haven't seen it since. How old are you when this happened? I think I was in fifth grade. It's depressing. Yeah. It's like, ruin a child's birthday. Yeah, it was, I was awful. so sad. <laughs> I'm not gonna be a Buddhist now, Grandpa. Yeah, I <laughs> ruined I'm, 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 I'm gonna be a Christian now. <laughs> <laughs> Rebellion. Don't be a Zoroastrian. That'd be even more of a just like middle finger. <laughs> just go to something like that no one ever remembers. It's like not a thing anymore, but now. Still it will a thing. Be. There are Zoroastrian still things. Yeah. Zoroastrian, yep, there. It's in sort of Iran, but really Iran north of and Iran. LA. Oh, I didn't realize that. That's that. all that. <laughs> well, Iran, LA, and there's also like north of Iran. There's some. Uh, as well. Not as much as there used to be. Mm, I can check, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look up Zoroastrian. Right. So you should buy a 3DS. Fun. You should buy a 3DS though. Honestly. I actually got a good deal. There are I went great on, games on it. I went on Nintendo's website and they have them refurbished for like half the price of a new one. It's really good. Even I have Tetris on my phone. I don't need anything else. <laughs> Even Christian, the biggest like Chiefs Gate we know, has a 3DS. Yeah, now. it's like it's well, a good he, deal. Was it given to him? He bought it. Oh, you bought it from, from, I felt from kinda, Edward? Yeah, you bought it from yeah. Edward. Okay. I felt okay. kind of dumb when I set it up, though. So I bought this for myself for Christmas. Um, and then I set it up, and it was like, make sure you have a parent or guardian. I'm like, I'm 22. What have I done? <laughs> like, <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I and then it tells you to like, go outside and play every once in a while. <laughs> I'm like, I'm again, I'm 22. I have a population of some It's funny you mention okay. that. <laughs> because <laughs> I got locked out of my Battle.net account <laughs> last year. Because it still thought I was like, 16 or whatever. The go, the kind of play. Has anyone ever seen the old uh, Kojima game? It's not a Metal Gear game where uh, it was a handheld game, but to use your weapon, it was solar powered, and you actually had to go, you outside, go outside. And there were panels on the cart. I had that to game. charge it. That game was hysterically fun, but so ridiculous to use. I had that game. I was like, I feel like it would be so sunburned. The sun that is in game. your hands. Yes, yeah, I remember this game. That's it so crazy. Such an interesting mechanic. It didn't work. It, it did not work enough for it to really be a thing. But uh, I heard yeah. about that game this week. I had no All idea like, that game existed when uh, I was a kid. The day when I was a kid, I just put the, my Game Boy in the window. <laughs> like, Charge my battery. I'm like, I don't want to put on sunscreen battery. to go play a game. So uh, guess which country has the most Zoroastrians? Us. <laughs> what us? Yeah. The U.S. US. No, it's India. India. Huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sixty-nine thousand people. Now huh. we know. So okay, that's like point zero zero six right. of the population. Okay, of it's India. barely a thing. So. <laughs> no, it's a barely a pop part of the population of India. Yeah. <laughs> to be cool? fair, a lot of things are barely part of the population of India because there's a lot of people. And then it's Iran with twenty five thousand. Then it's the United States with eleven thousand. Then it's Afghanistan with ten thousand. Hmm. Then Canada with five thousand. Canada. You still haven't Tied hit any Pakistan. Of, you still yeah. have yet to hit a single one of the countries just to the north of Iran. Well, you know. Well, well like, Afghanistan's to the north of north No, it is not. East. It's, northeast. It's east. It's northeast. It's southeast. What? The northern edge of Iran. <laughs> now what? we gotta look up the world map. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure Kyler's right because this geography, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this is a losing game. <laughs> <laughs> look up Afghanistan. <laughs> Double check. <laughs> Alright. It's, like it's, the fact it's that not south. Pakistan not, is south. Pakistan is southeast. Let Afghanistan is like j just east of Iran. Slightly yeah, it's south. not north. It's not north though. It's, it's not like pretty north. solidly there are parts east. That are like kind of. Dangerous. I mean, there are some parts of Afghanistan that are northeast. I was about to say it's also Iran. it's like the fact that the, the I was western part thinking of Virginia is technically further west than all of West Virginia. I was still thinking. I was still thinking that Turkmenistan had some, but that's not the case. I don't think. Right. So anyway. video games. Yeah, let's get off the topic. We are so back, on topic. We're back again. Geography. In-depth video game discussion. Have you guys Got seen that? I honestly was just trying to think of a transition of Iran, Afga Iran to be like hey, in that area of You know what games. kinds of things Couldn't you can find in Iran? Pokemon. <laughs> that and the rest of the world. That was an interesting segue for Pokemon <laughs> Go. Okay, yeah. good job. <laughs> I was about to come up with a better one, but yeah, let's do yeah. that. <laughs> Pokemon Go. Yeah. I saw the video this morning. Another hey, game. That was really interesting. Goodbye yeah. 2016. Another I mean, game that's going to make you leave your house. Did, did, yeah. 
have you seen the <laughs> you actual have to go press outside. conference yet? I haven't seen the actual press okay. conference. Okay, you do need to see some of those stuff of like they show like mockups on of what it like is is Actually like on the phone, like, yeah. and it looks very much like the um, the like compa the companion things inside of Pokemon like X and Y, where it's like the ones where you're you're taking care of your Pokemon. Oh. It reminded me of that, mm. but instead of the background being like the environment in that, it's what you're seeing through your phone camera. Is it that close up? Because that would be strange it, to me. Not necessarily. It varied, but again, it's a mock-up, so who knows if that's what it's exactly going to look huh. like. That was sort of their pi the pitch piece. It's not going to look anything like those in it was that actually video. Rendered, it was actually rendered. <laughs> the mock-up was actually all done on PCs, and it's going to randomly have a graphic decrease uh, just before launch, and there's going to be a bunch of random microtransactions all of a sudden. <laughs> I, I mean, there will more? be microtransactions. Oh, there yeah. absolutely will. There's going to be plenty of those. I just mm -hmm. feel like the main problem with this game is that I'm going to be run into by at least one person like chasing some kind of Pokemon. Like, it's bad enough on campus with people this holding is... their phones and texting and yeah. like almost walking this into you. This is why they build it. Actively running. This is why they build <laughs> like you run into Pokemon that you masters. wear so it alerts you to things as yeah. opposed to you running with your phone. I just yeah. love the idea, because this will be 2016, right? Like, you'll be graduating by then. You'll be go you have I a job. I will have graduated. I just, oh, oh, no. Do not be that hard. do not go that far i'm not sure <laughs> i just love the idea of carlos sitting there like at his like desk job and there's like there's a pokemon near me just runs out the door it's like to be gonna... fair if it's anything like the last it's... office i was at that would absolutely happen and everyone else because there too. was there was a point at rt when uh when in the Golden Mario Amiibo came out, some one of the animators stood up at his desk and just went, Golden Mario is here! And I saw 15 people converge on various computers. I saw Miles and Gary run out of a room to go buy, like, grab a laptop to buy these things. And one person got it. It was something oh to watch. I saw 28 people just, like, not working, gathered around a computer watching Nintendo Direct. Danny has a Golden Mario, right? Yes, he does. Okay. What does Danny not have? Well, I, th I think like <laughs> with the life. with the latest. Ouch. Oh yeah, that's rude. Mm, wow, that's rude. <laughs> hard on Danny here, but, but um, I think with the next tier of amiibos, he might not be able to get all of them. Just because. I think he says he's gonna stop. He's only gonna get the brawl one. No, no, not brawl. So smash, the smash ones. ones? Mm. Yeah. I, I think he'll get shovel knight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he, had, he hasn't but, played it. Yeah. I, but also, so. the shovel knight people are handling all the production and stuff on that, right? So like, yeah. it might not actually be impossible to get. That's mm. true. <laughs> <Hopefully>. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like they're allowed we'll to do whatever. We'll see. It, it could be harder or not. Yeah, that's yes. true. They're smaller. Yeah, they're a lot smaller than Nintendo, so maybe they yeah, can't do the. They might like make it to order or something. Yeah. It's you, like you can't get it in stores, but you can get it online. And they'll send it to you. You might just have a wait. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that could work. Send you a mold of plastic, and you have to make it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> do it yourself, kit. You have to color it in. Yeah. Oh my god, I hated that. <laughs> I remember I used to buy like old Gundam kits and then <laughs> it was like you it's would like make a model airplane of shovel. And there's like now you gotta color it. I'm like I what? lost patience with that kind of thing real quick when I was a kid. I, I remember one time I got a... so mad I just took a bucket of paint and just dumped <laughs> it on it. I was like done. I was once in a, the one the uh, the clothes I ever got to be in the D and D group and I still want to, but the clothes yeah. I got was to a point where I had like their own things, and they wouldn't let me like actually join the campaign until I had like hand painted my own character thing. I'm oh like, my gosh. I'm out. Goodbye. Like, no, thank I'm you. I'm in a D and D group. <laughs> you are? Yeah. Did oh. you have to hand paint figurines? Saturday. Do you have to hand paint Did your figurines? Would you be able to be a DM? Uh, I can learn. We've been hunting for a DM learn. for a while. I've been playing for like what three years now. We had James now? do it once. And it, I don't like, think I didn't know what I was. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I've been playing for like I didn't have time to prepare or anything. It's fun. We meet like every. Saturday every two months. <laughs> it's hard, but yeah, it's fun. Mm, yeah. It's but it's a cool thing to do to just like because you can really enjoy yourself in like the three-hour time mm -hmm. slot that you give yeah. yourself. Yeah, yeah. So this is the uh, first part of the year. No one has had a chance to talk about what like what video games in this holiday season they're looking forward to, and there's a lot coming out. So uh, so much. Brian, oh. what video game coming out of the, the rest of the year are you looking forward to most? Honestly, it doesn't have a release date, but it says it's coming out 2015. Hopefully, it's Persona Five. Oh yeah! Like they I totally forgot that was coming out. See, a lot of people have. Like yeah. they've they guaranteed it's 2015. They even said we promise you it's 2015. They said that like maybe two, like two or three weeks ago. Two years later. Right, but I'm really worried because it's like there's been no news on it. There's only they've only had one trailer. Like they'll pull Scott Cawthorn and it'll just come out of nowhere. Yeah, like yeah. I'm really really yeah. scared that it's gonna get pushed back. But I'm really looking for that the most. Um, other games. 
besides Well, let's that. just have one for okay. the go around the yeah. table. And for some I don't know. When does Assassin's Creed come out? Like November? I or is November. it, yeah, is it October next October year? It's either October or November. Yeah. I don't know. Lots of things are coming out in November. Okay. I was like unexcited for it, but now I'm like tentatively interested. Are James, there is a correct answer, and I'm expecting yeah. you to give it for this question. Tales from the Borderlands, part mm. five? <laughs> <laughs> the correct answer is Fallout 4. Oh, uh, yeah, that's coming out. I even have the collector's edition, too. Look, I just played the latest episode of Bo Tales from the Borderlands. This it was I, so good. This is the one I saw you this play. This is the one you saw me playing. That's, there is a sequence in that, in that it episode is so that is so well incredible. written. I it is, love it, it is so great. much. I'm not a fan of Telltale games. Oh, really? I haven't found one I like kay. with... No, that exception. Actually, yeah. uh, asterisk to that, I have not touched Wolf Among Us in the slightest. Yeah. That's my it's asterisk. Good. This really Tales from Borderlands looks good, plays good. Every the characters are great. I just everything's good. But yeah, my, my other answer would be Halo Five, but that also Fallout Four. <laughs> so one answer, yeah. <laughs> I haven't heard much about Halo Five. Really? I haven't either. A lot, a lot of stuff came out a little while ago, and then it's been. Mostly quiet. Well, there was the trailer that they released the, with the opening cinematic. There's the uh, there, yeah they had the opening cinematic come out recently where it's Fire Team Osiris being like batshit crazy. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, batshit crazy badass. It's, yeah, it's, speaking it's of batshit ba badass, that <laughs> batshit crazy, crazy badass. badass. <laughs> Say that three times faster. <laughs> batshit crazy badass, batshit crazy badass, batshit crazy badass. <laughs> Almost got it. Oh, Almost got it. Did you hear about Destiny? The oh, Taken the big King, update. Or, like, what? What about which it? part of it? Dan Nolan or Northbot? Or? I heard there's like. I heard, I heard it's like, been totally changed up. Yeah, I heard it's been completely changed up, and I heard that like, I think I don't know yeah. the exact number, but they got a lot of subscribers now. Yeah, it sounds like so. it fixed they things. They changed majorly, everything that good... was like really broken with that game, pretty much. Well, they have like experience going all the way up to like level 34. Yeah, it's, your gear is not. Of doing the your gear thing. is not based. Your experience is not based on collecting random drop gear anymore. Which yeah. Is, it's like. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. Especially with, how, especially with the fact that of like a game like that, it had some of the lowest drop rates I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. There's a great comic Lord where it's like Lord an hour. Lo yes. Really? Where it's like, well, well depending, on, depending on what part of WoW you're in. WoW is bigger. And WoW is, like, yeah. So like, there are items yeah. you have to like go it, to a it, random it, corner of the world to get, and then it's like a low drop rate. The but journey to get some overall. of the low drop rate stuff in WoW is a lot better than the journey to get the low, the low drop rate stuff in Destiny. I can't think of WoW the like eighty percent of the community going into a cave because there was like, because there was a it, a theory. It seemed uh, like there was a better chance. They're actually interesting yeah. enough. The loot cave was actually slightly less efficient than playing the game regularly. Oh, funny. If someone someone went and did the math. But, but no one knew how to play the game regularly. The problem is that no one. Well, yeah. no people knew how to <laughs> play it. Knew. No one wanted to. Yeah. Which is a really damning yeah. thing to a game. <laughs> yeah. I, I played it for a week. It's I had amazing no to go back. that Destiny has succeeded as well as it did, despite like so many things being wrong with it. Yeah, <laughs> it's really. But I know some people that really. It had good really gameplay. Yeah. I give it that. It yeah. pretty much had. It had good gameplay and it stood on that. It had nothing else. Yeah. Yeah. They, it now had has other things but yeah, my friend has a whole group and they play destiny like every day they love it see i really want to get yeah, into i don't it know now. like it i think it's start... interesting also now Even it has with all the bot. issues i think he's oh, worse really I, I, have listened, <laughs> I have listened to the audio for the for it's really now. disappointing i i really think he i think he's significantly worse than dinklage, dinklage was. wow like dinklage like was clearly just sort of bored of it and it especially showed near the end of it the end of his stuff yeah but the tone he struck for that bot makes more sense to me. It's, huh. I, I know in the past they were talking about like it had gravitas and bass, and there, there is something to that in that he sounded like a bu he sounded aloof in a way that it was like he's sort of Effective. above the, the whole character. thing. Yeah. I, I've Which seen this sense. before. I've like found other guardians and whatever. I've seen shit. I'm just a piece of this thing that's been around for a long time, and it's and like. That made sense to like me. The in the world. Is the the way Nolan not does just it, the character is uninterested, not just the He either he seems like everything is new and interesting, but he's not committed enough to that to uh, where it's like seems his false. intonation just doesn't ri like never rises enough. It's not it's so, so many little things aren't there. The, the weird thing about the voice acting for that little robot is that like they don't have to worry about lip sync. They don't have to worry about like getting the facial yeah. animations right. All they have is the little robot like kind of changing positions or whatever. And like that's like how is that it's, hard? It's how is that hard to figure out? They can't decide whether the robot is like is a robot or has a personality. And it's they've met like in both 
for both Dinklage and North, like the they direction struck the wrong for balance. Like, they just gone wrong. They've gotten it wrong because like I. Nolan North can be a bundle of personality. Yeah, Saints clearly Row that's the reason they like, wanted him to do it. Yeah, yeah and it's, it's really weird that they well, screwed it up Saint, again. Uh, Saints Row well, Four instead of. I I would go with Drake, but Saints Row Four, his voicing of that is just like so zany out there mm -hmm. for explosion of personality. I think that's yeah. way. That, that's just more. his. That's his yeah. range. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. That it, is the high mark. It's just weird that like after so many complaints, like they had another chance to do it right and still have missed the it's mark. It's so. It's unfortunate. Weird. There must be something constraining them because, I, like, you'd think they'd have a lot of freedom to make this work. I guess, but, but I've mm -hmm. seen Bungie maybe do the good. same I mean, people Bungie were involved. Bungie good work. I just you know what? I was about to say, I've seen Bungie do good voice acting, and then it popped in my head that the thing I was about to, the example I was about to give was actually three four three, uh, mm. in some of the side stuff. It's not the main stuff. It's the side a lot of the side stuff for three four three, like the uh, the terminals and stuff. Yeah, but like I'm, but, I can't think of it being that bad. Like the voice acting I, was fine in Halo one through fun. three. Fine, but nothing like not great. amazing. Yeah, I, I can't like say I would. There's no. But not below Halo average Reach either. Good. Mm. I like the voice acting in Halo Reach. There's some good voice acting. I can't think of Halo Reach. Like uh, that. Like there's some like genuinely like heartfelt sequences in Halo Reach that work pretty well. I thought the sequences <laughs> in Halo Reach were heartfelt because of the actions in them more than the the. the but like voice acting, it, but. it didn't take me out of the moment. Like the delivery worked. Yeah, but that's that's still just good. It, nothing about it was great, is what I'm saying. What you don't need great voice acting. This is not good. That, I wasn't criticizing. I'm just saying it didn't have. I just was like commenting. It doesn't have. It never had great voice acting. This is fight, fight, fight. <laughs> Pick okay, up the no, chair again. No, this, okay. Let's, you, you want to stop us? Trust me. Yeah, you, this will go on for a long time if you the, don't. The point let's, is, it didn't no, work out with no, Destiny. Yeah, let's bring it back. <laughs> mm -hmm. The thing about Dinklage, okay, or Dinklebot, or whatever, whatever it's actually all called, of the above. whatever it's actually called, um, <laughs> like the, it's not good voice acting. It's not competent voice acting. It's just not. It's like okay. It like kind of gets the job done. Whereas like for me, Bungie just it has voice acting and gets the job done always. I, it's never taken me out of it. See, uh, but this the just for thing. I never thought that Dinklage like. Seriously took me out of it in the way that I've I've, I've had other um, games that had boys voice acting that took me out of it way way worse and I'm not talking about like games that are just the kind of games that would you'd expect that from like Ride to Hell Retribution, which is <laughs> if you've never played game. that game do it just to see what it's what a known. train wreck is like no, don't, don't pay for it don't pay for it <laughs> I love that game yeah. um, but but like. I know he's thinking about Ride to Hell Retribution. That game is hysterical. <laughs> it's bad in the best way. But the, explain how it doesn't take you out of the. Uh, anyway, and it's like, I never had. I never thought Dinklage was as bad as. Pe like, Dinklebot was never as bad as people made it out. I thought the problem was more with the, with other things in the game. People want somebody to blame. Yeah. yeah. Like, and the, that the dialogue writing was bad. I think the fact, like, if, if you. The fact that it was Peter Dinklage all set the bar a little bit too high yeah maybe, high it was, expectations it's it's especially co like coming off of game of thrones is like you expect a much higher yeah. performance but from peter dinklage I than also, there was here's, here's the thing about peter dinklage's voice is that like he does a lot of acting through his like through his movements exactly. and through like and like the, his facial that's features that's the problem with hollywood people and voice acting yep, roles like, i he, think it's always a disappointment if you just listen to an audio track of like uh, of just Tyrion Lannister saying a line, it's like it's not that amazing. Right. Yeah, it's like, so it was it was kind of weird for me. Like from the get go, that they chose to <clears throat> use Peter Dinklage in this game. I feel like I the game developers are going for all this I, big. I mean, it's Peter Dinklage, so I'm gonna yeah, be he's excited. Cool. Yeah, it's but cool. like at the same time, I I wasn't that surprised that it like was it kind of not failed. Great. I feel like it's kind of a bad move with all of these developers looking to cast big Hollywood people in these roles. I mean, they're not trained to do voice. Like they're used to yeah. having these other tools at their disposal. Well, it's better to go with somebody that's less some, famous. Some people right. some people know how yeah. to use their voice and they use that very well in films. Like I think John Cleese can just use his voice and it's fine in a video game. Like you, you recognize yeah, it and you're like, oh yes, okay. I'm glad you're in this game. But what the Elder Scrolls game was he in? Uh, he was in Oblivion. Yes. Oh, cool. Or, it was. I think it was Oblivion. It wasn't Skyrim. It was. Yeah, it wasn't Skyrim. But I think it was Oblivion. He was definitely in Fable. He was in Fable oh. Three, but I, I I don't know which. Oh no, John Cleese. John Cleese. 
<laughs> Some Don't Elder please. Scrolls game. I yeah, I think there are people with I'll distinctive voices and people that emote a lot using their voices, but I feel like a lot of those actors don't have to rely on that for their other performances and yeah. kind of assume that, oh, well, it's fine, you know, it's easier, you just go uh, into the studio, you're not having to get makeup done, whatever. Mm -hmm. There was also a point when just, good. no matter how good you are, if you're delivering, like, really, That's really bad true. lines, and Destiny has some really... Really Some bad dialogue line. Dialogue is Destiny unsavable. Ha <laughs> Destiny has one line that I still hold as the worst story, the worst line in exposition in gaming. <laughs> I don't have time to explain why I don't have time to explain. I nearly quit and sold <laughs> the game. Just like, right no. I rented the game Done. and I still nearly just like took it back immediately when they said that. Yeah. That <laughs> just was. And they, here's the thing. I they never, they That's funny. never explained it. It's not. It's funny. It's, it's just uh, infuriating from the It's just when you want to, yeah. When I you, really care about story in games. Right. Yeah, that's very when, when you're having the hand wave, like, oh, it's fine, like, don't worry about it. And you're Except this, the, is, this isn't like a hand wave. This is just a middle finger <laughs> right to the player. Yeah. yeah you, you, you can have the best actor in the world and it can't save. I mean, like, look at the Star Wars prequels. <laughs> There's some this, really good actors in the Star Wars prequels, Scrolls prequels and that did not but, help. <laughs> I was about to say, it's like, but who had the. Which of the good actors was on screen that much? Yeah. <laughs> well, it wasn't Oblivion that John Cleese was in. It was uh, Elder Scrolls Online. Oh, that was it, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I, like I knew it was an O. Oh. <laughs> he, I think he was, in, he was in a lot of James Bond games because he was M for like one movie. <laughs> <laughs> and joining us on the scene oh, is... Uh, Q. <laughs> Not joining, he's nodding no. <laughs> Faraz is being voyeuristic. Hi, He's chilling silently. Welcome to not participating in the podcast. It's cool. Yeah. And we're just having these random <laughs> pauses where you yeah. can like, sort of hear him in the background. It's great. No, uh, but uh, okay, I've, I've, I've bashed you. on Destiny a lot last year already. I really shouldn't get back into it. Yeah. 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 That was, the, the point is, they fixed a lot of yeah, things. Yeah, they might have turned Nolan things around. Not great. I'm surprised, but. Yeah, because I've only heard negative things about the other changes that they've made up till this point. Yeah. So it sounds like it, this is a big step forward for them. Wasn't so that good our for them. Biggest disappointment of twenty. No. No, it wasn't. It was not. What, what was? was John Cleese was Q. What's Wait. your biggest disappointment? Oh. Unity. Uh, Unity. Assassin's Creed Unity beat it out. Yeah. Uh, I argued very forcefully on that one. <laughs> okay. That would make sense. It yeah. was. It came down to a whether like dis whether it was worse to have a disappointment that failed to meet your to fail to meet your expectations uh, or was just broken. Yeah. And so. it, that game was both broken and had like a just complete disdain for the player. <laughs> <laughs> so you might as well just. Yeah. yeah. I like, was well, fine Destiny, with it once I actually played it. I think Destiny was the bigger disappointment, but it functioned. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Well, that was yeah. the same reason that we ruled down on Watch Dogs. Yeah. All right. Well, on that note of disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Spin. It's okay, Brian. <laughs> Ouch. Rude. <laughs> what? I, I, that was uh, uh, wasn't like a, I thought I wasn't an attack at you. Uh, I thought you were calling me. This was, you I thought you were saying a dis I thought you were saying I was a disappointment. You were making that sound like a little morose, so I was like, don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway. So we might have some good games to talk about next time. Yep. Well, yeah. Yeah. Non disappointing uh, games. <laughs> we had some good d games to talk about this time, so. Yeah. We just ended on Play Metal Gear yeah, Solid 5. <laughs> Next time on Video Game Afterlife, we'll talk about games that we're disappointed about then. And then I'll tell people to play Metal Gear Solid 5 more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That will be every podcast I'm on. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for listening. It's been me, Brian. Lily. James. <laughs> Kyler, play Metal Gear Solid 5. And Faraz, not participating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Faraz the Bye. Bye. Bye.